Hello everybody and welcome back to X4 where we have 12.6 million credits and I've kind of been hamstringing our income because I went and purchased another Mercury Vanguard that is not assigned to any of our stations and what that is doing is that is... No, it's not going there. <laughs> what that is doing is it's running back and forth between the Hull Parts Factory and the GE Headquarters, and it's just moving Claytronics made by the GE Headquarters into its own build storage, and Hull Parts made by the Hull Parts Factory, and moving that into the build storage for the GE Headquarters. So that's cutting our income down pretty dramatically, of course, because those are two of our primary selling things that we are not selling. We are getting them for free but we're not selling them, so it's cutting in on our income, so we're kind of paying for it still. But the GE headquarters is really close to getting another Claytronics production online. And you can see here that we only need 91 Claytronics, and we've got more Claytronics and Hull Parts on the way in. So that's all well and good. Now, I'm here at the Argon Shipyard. Hi, Faction Rep. It's an honor to see you here. I'd like to buy a blueprint. There are two blueprints that I want to purchase here right now, and those are as follows. Drone component production for 9 million, and turret component production. There we go. That'll leave us about 100k credits, but that's fine. So, rip in pepperonis, 2.5 mil. Oh, hello. Oh, that's just a construction vessel. Okay. Just checking. So, we're going to hop over here and... We are going to plan the build of our wharf, and we're going to start getting our wharf online quite soon. So obviously it's not currently in a situation where it will be prepared to uh, where, where it will be prepared to do its own thing for a little while yet anyway. But we do need a little bit of vertical height here. So I actually want to plan the uh, plan the plot here. So let's go negative Z, and I'd like to put in two more kilometers there. Yeah, we can just afford that. Excellent. I put it in the wrong way. I put it in over here. I meant to put it in on the Y axis. That's my fault. I don't think we can retract that now. Nope, we cannot. That's okay. We'll put this in for right now. We are not going to build this without a license. Yes, I'm aware that not paying is seen as an aggression by most factions. We're not going to build without a license. We're just going to plan it. We've not started construction on this anyway. So, this is just plans. So, we're going to put in a quick spacer here. A vertical spacer. Right there. And then we are going to put in a cross module here, and hopefully we have enough space here. We'll see if we do or not. We may have to get a double height. There we go. And let's look at putting in drone components or turret components. It kind of doesn't matter which. So drone components and turret components. I still have not figured out how this is sorted. Here's drone components. Okay, that's relatively short, but pretty good sized. So, we're going to need a horizontal module. Just copy this one. And I'd like to place that like that. There we go. And then we'll copy this guy. I don't know why it does this. Okay, let's just move it down over here. There we go. That's much better. So there's drone components, and that requires energy cells, engine parts, which we are making, hull parts, which we are making, microchips, which we are making, and scanning arrays, which I believe we're making, aren't we? Let's see here. Scanning arrays. Are we making scanning arrays? Did I miss it in the list? Graphene, refined metal, silicon wafers, quantum tubes.
I'm pretty sure we're making scanning arrays in here somewhere. Smart chips, advanced composites, missile components. It's all storage there, hull parts. It's going to be kind of hard to find it, of course. Advanced electronics, quantum tubes, plasma conductors, weapon components. Surely we're making scanning arrays in here somewhere, but maybe we aren't. I'm going to confirm that change. And then we are going to take a look at the logical overview here. Yeah, I'm aware. Scanning arrays. Interesting. So we're not making scanning arrays. I feel like we have production for it, don't we? Maybe we do not. Okay. How much does it cost? Is it available here? It's an honor to see you here. I'd like to buy a blueprint. Scanning array production. We do own it. Okay, I thought we did. I guess I just didn't see it in the list. Okay, so let's hop back over here and plan this build. Scanning arrays, right here. Okay. Surely I have it in here. I wish there was a way to uh, sort this. I don't think we do, though. So in that case... We might want to put scanning arrays over here, as well as if we can get one of these base connection modules. Uh, that's not exactly where I wanted to place that, but okay. I wish there was some way to, to pan down. I mean, you can do this, but uh, it'd be awful nice if there was another way to do it. Okay, so we'll grab that, place it right there. There we go. So we have a cross connection structure there and there. And then we'll put in some scanning array production over here. Like that. And we'll probably have to rotate this one if I can get it selected. Apparently I cannot. That's the T pier there. Yeah, we need to drastically change our angle to be able to do this, I think. Hitboxes OP. Okay, is there another connector over there? No, there is not. So this will indeed need to be rotated if I can get this grabbed. Outside of that hitbox. There we go, rotate it like that. Okay, so there's some scanning arrays being produced. What do those need? Those need refined metals, silicon wafers. We're definitely making both of those. Okay, so there's our scanning arrays as well as our drone component production. So we still need turret component production. Where is that in this? I really wish you could sort this alphabetically. That'd be very, very nice. Turret components, right here. Okay, just checking size. That's pretty small. Good to know. Okay. Now, we need, of course, to copy this vertical module. Okay. We need to put in a vertical module. <laughs> Like that. And then a cross module. And then a pair of cross modules. And then we're going to put in our turret components. Now, it looks like that's a little high. So we're actually going to drop that down for the moment. Place that there. And actually, that ended up disappearing. I'm not hugely surprised by that. And then a couple of cross modules like this. And then turret components. One there. And one there. And of course the spacing on that is slightly awkward. But what do we need to produce this? Energy cells, microchips, quantum tubes, and scanning arrays. 
So we know that we're making scanning arrays, since we just put that in. Quantum tubes, yes. And what was the other one? I cannot remember for the life of me. The other one was microchips. And we're definitely making microchips. Correct? Yes, we're definitely making microchips. Okay, so all we need now on this, of course, is our, and let me just adjust the spreadsheet here. Turret components are in, drone components are in, so all we need now is field coils and antimatter converters. Excellent. We'll confirm those module changes for right now, and then we are going to see about getting some funding out of here. I mean, I've kind of hurt our uh, income slightly, but that's fine. We still have enough money here. Excellent. We'll pull some money out of there, all the money out of there. Perfect. And that should be enough to pay for this plot. Excellent. Okay, so that's a great start. Let's check in real quick on how this guy's doing getting through his orders. Not amazingly. Okay, that's still going to take some time. Fine. Well, we are not going to have enough money to buy antimatter converters and field coils anytime soon here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our plot. Well, not quite to our plot, but over near our plot. And we are simply going to grab ourselves a plot for a support factory over there. So we will undock here, and we are going to set our destination to be in Path to Profit somewhere around here. Autopilot engaged. And off we go. Excellent. Because we have a little bit of work to do over there, and I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to cost, but we're going to need some level of money. I want to check in on the GE headquarters here to see if it's finished that Claytronics production. It actually has, and it's working on the cross connection right now. That is perfect. Of course, the other half of the Claytronics production is still quite a ways away from getting finished, but that does mean that we are producing Claytronics 50% faster, which is always nice. Now, I've changed this so it only sells Claytronics when we go over... Actually, I'll change this directly to 1500, like that. So it's not going to sell Claytronics until we reach 1500. And I've also changed it so that we can have... 3,000 Claytronics in stock at any given time. And I also added in four more container storage to help compensate for the larger storage, but those won't be built for quite a while. So that's fine. We are, of course, on our way over nicely. Excellent. And other than that, all of these factories are fully functional and are going very nicely. So this is going to be like half an hour before this Claytronics production is done, but it's actually going to be quite a lot longer than that because we're going to have to wait on more Claytronics to come in. We only have 106, and we need 2718. We have to manually change our Claytronics from the factory's storage to the build storage, which is slightly awkward, to be sure. But it's not, I suppose, literally the worst thing ever. And that is why I bought that extra Mercury Vanguard, after all, so that's completely fine. We'll pull a little bit of money out of our life support factory. I'm not sure how much we're going to need, but we're going to essentially completely replicate the life support factory, including down to its overall size, although we might be able to trim its size down this way a little bit. We'll have to see. Is that a kilometer? That might be a kilometer. Like, hypothetically, we can't shrink this at this point. It would, it would actually be in the Z direction. So maybe 4x4 four four would be okay. 5-5-2-3-4-4. Five, five, four, four. That could potentially work. So we're on the superhighway, headed over there to get our support factory started here. And the support factory is going to be where the majority of our money goes after we are done with the primary factory up over here. Now, I've not been putting money directly into this. I've been putting 
just goods in, and our expected construction budget has been coming down, so that's good. Auto. Autopilot, I don't know what you're doing. I would prefer that you didn't. Let's just go over here manually. There we go. Now the autopilot should be completely fine. Fantastic. I did also notice that one of our Mercury Vanguards was very damaged. I'm not sure which one, and our stations don't seem to be too keen on repairing their ships. I checked in the behavior, and there's a thing for resupplying them, but there doesn't seem to be a thing for repairing them. It's kind of strange. I mean, maybe they just need to have repair drones. I did notice in the logical overview here, I, I set this up. I went for 250 trade drones, 5 defense drones, and 10 repair drones. Maybe we just need repair drones at all of these stations to get them repaired. That might be enough. I have no idea if that's for repairing the station or for repairing ships that are at the station or both. But I guess we can take a look at the hull parts factory here. And we should have, I don't know, maybe around 100 cargo drones. So something like that. And then say 15 repair drones and then 20 defense drones that'll do and they'll import the smart chips and the drone components as they can and we'll do a similar sort of thing for the life support factory so we'll go to the logical overview here this can have up to 245 drones we will have 200 of those be cargo drones because i just want to be able to transport goods quickly We'll have, say, 30 defense drones, just to be able to defend ourselves a little bit. And then around 15 repair drones, just to see. Okay. So that's going to be relatively expensive, I should think. But that'll just take some time. So yeah, you can see here our Claytronics production is halted. I'm not at all surprised to see that. I would like... Actually, our station account here is pretty hefty. Let's take some funds out of that. I'm not sure where it got all those, but it must have sold some lower value goods. Do something like that. Of course, that's going to slow down our drones, but that's fine. I just wanted to stock up on some money. Ah, there's an asteroid belt here. I'm going to pilot this manually. Going through this asteroid belt. Because I, for one, do not trust the autopilot. Especially when I see NPCs do things like ramming that, uh, ramming that asteroid. Okay. At this point, the autopilot should be pretty safe, I think. Yeah, we're exiting the asteroid belt now. It looks clear. And I mean, we'll be in Path to Profit very, very quickly. So that's fine. The Life Support Factory that we're going to put there is going to supply both of our... Both our shipyard and our wharf. So that will be an important thing. And I want to get that Life Support Factory online quite soon. So I want to create a new plot here. And this would be what? This would need to be... 5 by 5 by 2 by 3 by 4 and 4. And we'll place that right about here. Excellent. That should do. Now that's going to cost us a million credits. Okay, so we're definitely going to need some credits for that. Yes, I am aware. We're not going to put any anything there. We're just saying this is where we're going to build this. We have not built it yet. And we will call this the... Actually, let's go ahead and rename this to the uh, Ship Creator Life Support Factory. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Now we're going to need a million credits to be able to purchase that plot. 
So let's just see if we can raid anything over here. Uh, not really. I'm not hugely surprised by this because I've been really hamstringing our income. There we go. It's a small amount. Okay, so I guess we will see right now what uh, this would look like if we were to load in the standard life support factory. That would fit. Fantastic. What is the cost of that? About 26 million. Okay. Well, we'll, con we'll confirm those changes for now, and we will end up paying for this very shortly. But this is going to be our next focus after the GE headquarters. So let's just head on up over this way, and I think we will check in at the Hull Parts Factory. We haven't been there for a while. We don't need to be in this system anymore. We only needed to be here to uh, actually... Ooh. I really love the way that sun looks. That is neat. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of here. Fantastic. We only needed to be here to actually get the factory set up. The, the plot for the factory. And the Paranid, or rather not the Paranid, the uh, Tiladi might be slightly upset at us. I don't think they're upset at, uh, upset at us for doing this unless we actually start to build. Entering That's the way it seemed anyway. And, exchange. and uh, I just wanted to put in the plan there, and we will pay for that just as soon as we have the money. Oh, the autopilot disabled? Okay, we'll turn that back on. Just checking to see if we've got any money over here. Small amounts. Certainly not the kind of money that we need to be able to make that plot, though. Which is sad. Okay, let's check in quick on the Mercury Vanguard here. What do you got in terms of orders? Okay, still a fair number here. It's doing right now selling hull parts, and then it's going to do more hull parts. Yeah, it's, it's just carting around a bunch of hull parts for right now. I do want to tell it to grab as many Claytronics as it can carry. And then it's just going to put them into the build storage here. Excellent. And of course, having that extra Claytronics production up does wonders. We were producing 133 per cycle before, and now we are producing per cycle... I don't know how many. Actually. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's see, this is per hour. So, 1572 per hour with three production modules. And of course we have three more coming in, so this will be doubled. But we currently produce everything that we need to be able to build our own stations. Factory. And here we are at the Hull Parts Factory. Docking granted. We'll request docking, and we will of course be granted docking. We own this factory, why wouldn't we be? And we'll just come on up over here. Ooh, that was slightly speedy. There we go. <laughs> this is... A wee bit more like it. Okay, we'll land here. We uh, didn't try to impale you, I promise. Successfully docked. I always really, really love just walking around the factories that we build in this game and looking at the scale of them. That's really one of my favorite things. Absolutely wonderful. Just looking at the size of this docking bay and thinking, that size is such a tiny portion of this factory. It's absolutely enormous. Each one of these modules is huge, and we built it. I love that. That's absolutely great. Elite Vanguard. 
So what do we got for money? Well, I doubt we have much more, realistically. Uh, we have a little bit in this factory that we could steal, I suppose. But certainly not enough to really get started over on our other life support factory. That's fine, though. It's pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I will have certainly purchased this plot by then. So keep that in mind. This plot will be purchased by then, and we will probably have begun construction down over here on the life support factory. Although... We're probably not going to begin production on the wharf until we have access to antimatter converters and field coils. Which will take some time. So the wharf isn't going to be produced for a while yet. We're still investing on blueprints for that. And to actually make the ships is going to be so much more expensive. But we're going to get just the component production online first to start recouping some of our investment. Oh my, getting some hiccups here. Well, good thing I'm putting a cut in here. So uh, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.